second time ever an African country nullified the result of a presidential election and had a rerun. I'm like, what? That is democracy. It first happened in Kenya, now it happened in Malawi. This is the first time, however, that there would be a rerun and the opposition would defeat an incumbent. Malawi is teaching us a major lesson in democracy, y'all. They had the first election May of last year, but evidence emerged that it was rigged. Correction fluid was used to alter numbers. So the constitution court cancelled that election oh the president was so mad Peter Mutharika he, oh, he was so upset he was not happy at all he's been president since 2014 so he was running for a second time he will be 80 years old next month anyway when the result was cancelled he took the case to the Supreme Court then <laughs> but um there were reports that the judges came under a lot of pressure from the president to do what the president wanted <laughs> but they didn't they refused in fact a lot of people protested when the Chief Justice announced that the president was offering them, you know, a bribe. <laughs> <laughs> My God, my God, when they refused to collect the bribe, he tried to forcefully retire those judges. Lawyers take to the streets to protest government interference in matters concerning the judiciary. Mutarika is accused of meddling in judicial matters after putting the country's Chief Justice Andrew Nyerenda on early retirement two weeks before a historic election rerun. Wow, wow. Kudos to the lawyers in Malawi for protesting and taking a stand. As Malawians, we want to move forward. We don't want to move backwards. We want a country that is progressing. May you take your hands off our judiciary. This is the same judiciary that you will need tomorrow when you are fallen from the high places you think you have. Wow, that's deep. What he just said. Like, I really admire the judges, by the way, for doing what's right in Malawi. Also, the opposition demanded for new leadership of the Electoral Commission. And guess what? They replaced the leadership of the Electoral Body. I'm like, wow, Malawi, Malawi, like for real. As expected, there was a huge division in the country. Those who supported the president versus the opposition, you know. But in the end, they held a on last Monday and guess what the opposition won wow I wish I could see such in all African countries and I'm talking about real democracy where judges would not be influenced amen somebody <laughs> now the president is saying that the new election was rigged just imagine like okay so anyway <laughs> So the president-elect is 65-year-old Lazarus Chakwera, a Pentecostal preacher. He got his master's from South Africa, his PhD from the U.S. He was a former lecturer and principal at Assemblies of God School of Theology in Malawi. He was also the president of the Malawi Assemblies of God from 1989 to 2013. So, sir, being, let me look at in case you're watching, so being a theology professor, and being a man of God, we are expecting nothing less than a corruption-free leadership. You know, I know this doesn't always mean anything, <laughs> but he already made a lot of promises. A lot of young people, and that's the majority of Malawians, do not have any jobs, and we are telling them that uh, we will create jobs, we will have industry, and we will have a national youth service. That will get every young person involved uh, in something that will build this country. So, sir, the expectation is like this is really high really really high like in fact like this you know you cannot afford to disappoint the whole world is watching you and let me tell you jesus is watching you on plasma tv amen somebody congratulations to malawi for standing up for democracy you guys not doing much guess what i'm